Okay, so we have three potential... Actually, no. We have two definitively homosexual enemies in this game. And one potential in the ninja. This dude is the biggest faggot. Next to the polka-dotted dude. But he doesn't deserve immunity from ridicule. He does this weird-ass... I don't... Acrobatic shit. He only has one move that should be respected, and that was it. It's the Zangief flying, spinning clothesline move, which does an unbelievable amount of damage. I mean, it, it's hard to justify how much damage it does, given the fact that the dude can go invisible. And his regular attack, I mean, he does punch you, I think, in some way, but most of the time he just walks towards you, rolls forward, and does this flip over, shove my asshole on his cock move that defiles you in such a way that it actually does damage. But yeah, don't get hit by that spinny shit. It will kill you. It's entirely possible. I think that takes like a third or half your health off if he actually connects. It's not difficult to avoid, and you can counter it, as shown there. Oh my god, he actually punched at me. Instead of doing that weird-ass gay shit. But, yeah, the spinny thing. Just don't let him connect with that, and he's actually pretty easy. Just keep doing the... the tornado kick that Street Fighter ganked from this. And he'll pretty much run into it every time he tries to do that stupid-ass flippy move. He's far too willing to share his crabs with you. It's disdain. It's just disgusting. It's disgusting. That this guy should be the final boss. Walking STD man. This guy is the progenitor of syphilis. There's just no doubt in my mind now. The way that I actually beat him still astonishes me. I actually died in the process. And if I recall correctly, I mean, I skipped over all the story stuff every time I played this because it just didn't interest me at all, and it shouldn't, because I summarized the game earlier. But they, I don't even think they explain who this fucker is. I don't think they give you any idea who he is at all. The only thing you know is that he kidnaps your bitch. He doesn't throw her on a bed like Jimmy Lee did and, you know, potentially have done questionable things. He kidnaps her and drags you off to some creepy-ass hell first, which is an illusion, and then to some Buddhist monastery where he wants to molest you. So really, you might say this game isn't about Marion. It's about some dude who really has effects on Billy Lee and really wants to break him in. I suppose at the very least they actually made, in a few shots, Marion look like a chick. Instead of a chin in a skirt. Oh god, that has horrible implications for the original. I think what really grates me about this game, despite the fact that you have to give it its due, and even now, it's badass is all hell because it's double dragon there's no payoff you know I mean you basically basically get to see Billy seal the deal in the first one but in this one there's no bed you know there's no obvious bed and there's not even the little heart thing going up in the air to signify that yes he is going to take that shit